Hello everyone, I'm Monica Martinez and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to force make a copy of a Google Doc. Now this process can also be used for a Google Sheet or a Google Slide Deck. So you're going to be able to apply these steps um, to that when you want to force people to make a copy of those documents as well. All right, so let's get started. What you see on the screen here is a Google Doc. I've made this into a template. I've titled it template. Of course, you don't have to do that. Um, but I've got a template project management um, document here. So that's what you've got on the screen. All right, so when I share this, I want people to make their own copy, right? Now, usually you can share a link where they have view access, but they might not think to, oh, let me just make a copy and go to the file menu and make a copy themselves. Instead, what they'll do sometimes is ask for edit rights to your document, thinking that that's what they need to do to be able to make it their own. So to avoid that, we're going to force make a copy. So first step is to share your document. So up at the top right, you see the blue share button. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the blue button there. And I'm going to change the settings here so that anyone with a link can view. Now, you might see something different depending on the kind of account you have in your Google Workspace. So I'm using a personal Gmail account. So this is what that looks like. On a school domain account or uh, a work domain account, this will look different in that you'll have different kinds of options here to share within your domain if you want anyone within your domain to be able to make a copy and not necessarily make it fully public. You might also not see this option depending on your domain settings where you can't set it to anyone with the link. Regardless, whoever it is that you're sharing this document with, they need to be able to have you access. So let's click done there. We've done that part. Next, we're going to come up here to the to the URL of this particular document. We're going to look for the word edit, which is right here. And from that word all the way to the end of the URL here, you're going to delete that and then type in the word copy. I'm then going to select the entire web address with now the word copy. And I'm going to open up a new tab and I'm just going to paste it in. Now, this is the link you are going to be sharing with your uh, users, with whoever needs to have access to this document to make their own copy. As you can see, this is forcing them to make a copy. It's not sending them to the document. Instead, they land here and their only option is to click make a copy. And once they click on that blue button there, it'll take them to their own copy of your document, which they can then rename whatever they like and, of course, start to edit. You'll notice that it is now a locked item because it is there, private to only them, not visible by anyone else. So that's how easy it is to force make a copy. Again, you can apply this to Google Docs, Google Slides, and Sheets. Good luck.